Welcome back, guys. This is Leland bringing you another TA of Numera and the G R T. That's right. We're going to be going over two of these coins today. If that sounds good to you, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you were new, and let's jump in. But before we get started, my book is available. It's on Amazon. If you want to feel more confident, more comfortable within your trades, go buy this book. If you want to learn about all the patterns, charts, indicators that I use, that is in this book. And for the price of lunch, you could be learning how to do it like how I do it. Okay, let's talk about Numero real quick. I just wanted you guys to know, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I'm, sh I'm simply just sharing the data with you. And please make your own decisions. Okay, Numero having a breakout. You can see that we have this resistance, 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 support, support. Resistance, resistance, support, 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 and we were coiling up. We were coiling up, and we were going towards the end of this triangle over here, and then boom, we got the breakout. Awesome. That's really good. I was expecting a breakout for Numerare somewhere around the apex of the triangle, but it looks like that just didn't happen. That didn't happen, and it took a little bit longer. We ran to the very end of the triangle before we having a breakout. Currently, Numerare is sitting at $44.54 at the time of watching this video. I am expecting to have higher highs. And I think what we can do is we can actually take a measured move. Let's go over here and let's do a measured move from the top of here, right there, down to there. And within this triangle, we can take it to the breakout. We got the breakout over here. Let's say that that will happen, okay? That's going to be taking us into the 618 and 786. That is a very important area. You guys know this. Very important area for us to break into. I do believe Numerator is going to be doing that. We're going to be having a lot of resistance at that $50 area. It's not going to be very easy, guys. You can see one, two, three times where we attempted to try to break into the 618, and we got denied multiple times. With the current breakout target of this triangle, that's very possible where we could be getting thrown up into that area. Don't expect it initially. It's not just going to pump up right away. It's going to take some time. Let's take our time coming over here. You know how Numerare is slow and steady, but it will win the race. It is the turtle within the crypto world. A lot of there's a lot of less risk with Numerare and a lot of a lot of um, reward with it. A lot of profits that could be made with it. It doesn't move as much as other coins, but that's okay. But that's okay. That's why I like this coin. I like this coin for newer people who are coming into this space because it's not just going to dump on you and you're going to lose a whole bunch of money right away. So. That's why I like Numerare, and obviously because of the project as well. Uh, so what we need to do currently right now, we need to get above that $45 area. You can see we're being held down as resistance at the 0.5 on our Fibonacci. Once we get above that, turn that into support, then we're going to be having a run-up over here at 50 bucks. Once we hit 50 bucks, I'm expecting it to be resistance. Don't be surprised if we get thrown back down over to the $45 area to test it for support. You can see that we haven't done that in the past over here. We've come up, <clears throat> excuse me. We've come up, but we haven't tested it as support yet. So I'm still going to be waiting for that support. I do believe that is going to be happening. If we go ahead and we take a look at the daily on the RSI and the MACD, we can see, oh, this is the four hour. Go to over daily. You can see we're, we're about to get our cross. It's very close. Let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see this MACD. But we have this hidden bullish divergence. And the reason why we're getting this breakout right now is because the hidden bullish divergence is playing out. We had negative momentum moving to the downside as we had price action moving to the upside. That's incredibly bullish. Incredibly bullish. It looks like we're getting the cross right now. We're starting to print our green candle or bring uh, the green bar, excuse me, on your histogram. The very first green bar. I think we can expect a lot of movement to the upside for us to go hit that target somewhere around... $60. I'm going to be looking for that target within the next week, maybe two weeks. And the beautiful thing is, is you're not even overbought. Your RSI level is sitting over here at 61. Beautiful, beautiful. A lot of room to the upside, a lot of room to grow. It's looking really good. Numerare looking very good right now. Uh, and if we go back to a four hour, let's say, let's say we fail. Let's say Bitcoin takes a dump. What are some possible areas of support that we're going to be taking a look at? Well, we're going to want to hold this trend line, this purple trend line right here. If we can come back and we get a bounce off that trend line, great. If you get below that trend line, I am expecting for you to come down to the two or the three A two on the Fibonacci, which is going to be about forty dollars. It's actually thirty nine dollars and fifty cents. Break below thirty nine dollars and fifty cents, and you'll be coming down to the thirty two dollar area very quickly. Not a lot of support in that area 
down below. You can just see how when we come down, up, down, up, over in this area, it's very quick and it'll happen quick. I don't foresee that happening. With the hidden bullish divergence on the daily, it's gonna be some time, maybe a week or two, but we're gonna start moving to the upside. That's my projection, prediction, I really do. Uh, currently on the day, I believe we are sitting at about, what's the percentage on this thing? 12% on the day, that's, that's beautiful. We're panning out, it's looking really good. I uh, love this structure that we're putting in right now. It's a little messy, it's a little messy, but nevertheless, looking really good. If you are enjoying this content, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me, do, let me know down below in the comments what you guys think is gonna be happening with Numerare. And let's move on over to the GRT. Guys, GRT winding up, coiling up, looking massively bullish on the MACD on the daily. Look at this. This is so bullish. Let me just make that a little bit bigger for you. Look at this cross that we're about to have. We're in an indecision area right now because we're in a pattern. And I'm gonna show you that in a second. We'll have to drop down to a one hour chart so we can go see that pattern. But look at this shift of momentum. Look at this momentum moving on our histogram going up. We're about to print our green bar on the histogram. You're about to get your cross between the 12 and 26 day moving average. Once that blue line gets above that orange line, boom. We're gonna start seeing upside. Uh, and we know that uh, indicators are lagging. So price action's always king. Price action's gonna be moving up before our indicators but our indicators are leading and they're telling us we're gonna be moving to the upside. So looking really good. On the RSI, not even overbought. So much room to the upside, guys. So much room. We're only sitting at the 57 right now, looking really good. Okay, let's go over to a smaller time frame. Let's go check out the four hour and let's go look at, let's pull up a Fibonacci and I wanna see, see this pattern that we're putting in over here? Nice triangle, nice resistance, nice support that we're holding up over here, looking really good. I wanna see what kind of targets we're gonna be hitting. Let me put my Fibonacci down so we can see those targets when we do the measured move. So currently sitting below the 0.5 on the, on the uh, Fibonacci retracement, that's gonna be $2.06, what we wanna do. What's really nice is that you came over here, you broke $2. That $2 area is now acting as support right there. And that's good. You can see that we hadn't flipped that into support for quite some time. That was support all throughout back here with GRT. And when we got below it, it was resistance, resistance, resistance. And we just now broke through it, guys. This is really bullish. We are priming up. We are coiling up for the next move to the upside. I am expecting for $2.26 to be the next move over here. And let's go ahead. Let's drop it to a, down to a four hour. And this might get a little messy, but bear with me. Whoops. Bear with me on this one. So we're gonna take, we can take a resistance line about right there, and we can take a support line right about, is this a flag or what is this? You might be having some kind of a descending wedge. It's really hard to tell what kind of pattern we're currently in right now. I would say about something like that. Let's move this down, get about, pinpoint accurate that looks good that looks good okay what we can do from here is we can take just like we did that measured move on uh on nmr we can do the same thing right here you go from can we go from that top one i think we can i think we can let's drop this down right here move that up to about right there i like that i like that that's looking really good okay we take our measured move from here to down here on GRT and we take it to the breakout. Where's that breakout target? Let's just say the breakout target happens right there. Let's say we start falling down in this wedge over here and we start moving to the upside. And you know what? I'm really curious to see if we have negative momentum moving up on the upside on the MACD, which we'll get to in a second. But look, that takes us over to the $2.26 area. That's gonna be resistance. No doubt it's gonna be resistance. The 618 is always always resistance. It's a hard resistance to get through. Resistance, resistance, resistance. I've been saying it so much. Um, but I am expecting for us to not just stop there, but break through it, turn it into support and go back up and we're gonna be looking really good. Okay, let me show you on the MACD. Do we have negative momentum moving to the upside? We sure do. We sure do. Hadn't haven't even looked at this. Okay, well, typically when you're in a wedge pattern like this, you'll you'll see negative momentum moving to the upside as GRT decides where it wants to go. This is bullish. This is very bullish. 
But the pattern that I'm seeing mixed in with the RSI and the MACD, this is telling me we're going to have a breakout to the upside. So I'm expecting for $2.26 to be the next target right there. Okay, let's go back to a four hour and let's see what we need to do in order to get above $2.26. We break that. We come back, we test it for support and we come up to $2.50. Once you get above $2.00. And 53 cents this area right here we're gone we're gone we're gonna go up we're gonna hit three dollars we're gonna go we're gonna blow past three dollars and we're going up to four dollars after that we have had a lot of consolidation after this run-up you guys have been very patient good for you if you're still holding on everybody has faith in grt but look at this we've had this nice move to the upside if you guys have been watching my channel you already know we have this move to the upside over 1100 percent gains from the bottom over here, okay? That was from the beginning of January. That's massive, that's a lot. We've cooled off, it's looking really good. Right here, we cooled off, we're moving sideways, beautiful. I love to see the structure, I love to see the st stability up at these levels, especially over $2 GRT. It's time, guys, it's time. This week, or possibly even next week, we're gonna be seeing higher highs, much higher highs. We'll be taking out this previous high over here, and we'll be moving up. And if you could see this, you will be moving up after you break all time highs to the golden mean ratio over here on the Fibonacci, which is $3.33. That's my lucky number. That is my lucky number. So break 333, then it's $3.56, $3 then $4. I'm sorry, $3.89, which is at the 1618. And then after that, guys, ultimately, I am looking to get up here at the 2618, which is $5.50. It's not if that happens, it's when that happens, guys. I strongly believe we'll be hitting a $5 GRT within the next few weeks. It's very bullish, extremely bullish. Lots of gains to be made. If you guys are enjoying this content, hit that like button. If you were new and you liked what you see, hit that subscribe button. My name is Leland, and remember, it's all about the TA. I'll catch you guys in the next one.